right, Mr. Agarwal, uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for joining us on your numbers. Uh, let's, uh, let's get a sense of uh, really how things were impacted because of the lockdown and whether or not the easing of restrictions is helping now uh, in, in what you're seeing in terms of current trends. Uh, good morning. Uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, during the uh, first quarter, April was significantly under lockdown in most part of the country. So the revenue got uh, impacted uh, severely in the month of April. But uh, starting from May and June onwards, we started to recover uh, revenues. Uh, we started opening up various factories and uh, project sites. International sites were more or less operating even uh, during April because all the countries have not resorted to the you know lockdown. So most of the countries in the international territories we were operating and their revenue was uh, close to normal, I would say, uh, uh, during the month of hotel itself. But uh, May and June really helped us. We, we were able to ramp up our uh, operations much faster and that is how you know our revenues during the month of May and June were slightly better than last year also. That helped us to recover our one revenue and uh, you know there was a decrease of only nine percent uh, for the quarter. Okay. okay. Mr. Agarwal, how has the project execution across most segments been in the quarter? Uh, you know, if you could help us understand which segments were more majorly impacted? So basically, our uh, TND segments were uh, impacted. TND segments and the cable vertical uh, were impacted by the lockdown. Uh, the cables uh, were more impacted during the, uh, the entire April or uh, factories uh, were under lockdown and uh, uh, there was no production uh, and, and uh, the TNT in India was majorly impacted because of the lockdown in April. Uh, actually the railway vertical ramped up very fast and that helped us to recover the revenue. Uh, in, in, in a way railways have uh, you know had a muted uh, uh, growth so uh, the revenue for railway vertical was flat year on year basis. And uh, civil uh, improved uh, significantly on the back of the execution in our metro projects. So it is largely the PND vertical, uh, particularly in India and AC, which got impacted uh, during the quarter one, which led to this uh, growth of 9%. Sure. Could you leave us with an order intake or uh, execution guidance for FI21 then? It is difficult to really give you the guidance for the year because it's uh, still too early and you know the, uh, the, the, the COVID cases we don't know how they are going to behave, how the lockdown uh, you know, will uh, happen. Uh, we, we are really worried about the second lockdown uh, given that the number of cases are rising in India. So it would be difficult to give you a guidance but you know uh, looking at our order book right now which stands at about 20,000 crore and with the album position of close to about uh, 5,000 crore. So we have a strong order book right now and that gives us a good visibility that we should be doing well uh, for the year as a whole. Mr. Agarwal, we'll uh, let you go on that note. Thanks as always for taking the time out and speaking with us today. Let's just uh, take stock of what the STX Nifty is indicating and uh, it's comfortably above the 11,300 mark uh, given the kind of strong handover that you're seeing from Global Cues this morning. Divis, BEL, these were your big movers in trade yesterday as was